Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's explore the ultra punny, potentially cringy world of restaurant names together. Random disturbing fact. I'm actually gonna let this be a fill in the blank. Okay. I'll give you a guess. Humans may shed blank pounds of skin in their lifetime. Lifetime. How many pounds of skin um, might you shed? 41 pounds. Oh! 77. Even more. 77 pounds. Most of this is in the form of tiny flakes, which make up a major constituent of house dust. But there is a case ever so often where one person will lose 77 pounds of skin cells all at once. <laughs> Just like, boom, whoop, there it goes. Just get it all done in one. It says between 0 0.06 and 0 0.2 pounds of skin every hour. That, that 0 0.2 pounds of skin every hour. No. I mean, if you're losing 0.2 pounds of skin every hour, you are being sanded by something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. But it's called exfoliation, Rhett. You're being really exfoliated. Hello. Okay, so Stevie, the premise of this is what? You're gonna you're gonna tell us, you're gonna describe a restaurant, and then you're gonna give us two options for what the ridiculous but absolutely real punny name of that restaurant is. Yeah, but before that, I just wanna see you try and come up with it before the options. Okay. So so let me give you a, let's start, let me give you an example. There's a coffee spot in Coleman, Michigan with a Star Trek themed name. Coffee spot yeah. in Michigan, Star Spock, Trek. Um, live, live long and coffee. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, what about its USS Coffee Prize? Uh. <laughs> what about okay. to to infinity and creamer? Uh, that's Toy that's, Story. That's Toy Story. Uh, Star Trek theme. Uh, what did uh, the doctor? What did the doc say? What was his saying? Beam me up, Scotty. Yes, no. beam me up. Heck me yeah! Up. Yes! I knew that was it. Yeah! Bean me up. Uh, we wanted to give a shout out to our friend Anna who we met, as she said, in the wheel video uh, through through Make-A-Wish. It was, it was cool to be able to hang out with her. You know, sometimes we have uh, people come through as a result of Make-A-Wish and they can hang out with us in person, you know, with, with, uh, with, with the pandemic, we you know we're gonna have to do the remote thing with Anna, but it was really cool to meet her and hang out with her a little bit. We're beaming in directly from our set. I can tell that you also have a set. Yeah, you got some stained <laughs> glass there. This is uh, okay. Give me the story behind that. We're, we're fancy. Yeah, I guess I guess we're just very pristine and proper. <laughs> <laughs> we have some giant decorative silverware we could probably hit somebody with. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to pan your camera now that you've mentioned giant decorative silverware. Over to the side here. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Choose a weapon. I love it. Is there anything else on your wall that you really feel like you need to show us because you know we'll be into it? We have some letters hanging on the side here that just say... <laughs> hey, listen, I like the way y'all think. I mean, you got eat and utensils just up in the room, and this is That's Texas. Great. I mean, I get it's it. It's just v very clear what you're supposed to do in this room, specifically. <laughs> right. Hey, nothing gets us going like giant utensils. And just the being told to eat. <laughs> I mean, I love I love to be told to eat. Uh, so shout out to Anna. Thanks so much for spending some time with us. Okay, Stevie, let's hear another one. Beam me up. That was great. Yeah. And then right after that, I said, we're beaming you in. You know what? We're going to get was, all We're, we're beaming all everything. We're going to get every one of these right. Okay, right. okay, okay. In Sandusky, Ohio, there's a hot wings spot with a particular movie-themed name. You don't get the actual movie in this one. It's just a movie, and it's uh, hot wings. Uh, hot, okay, so some like it hot. Wings. Oh, that's good. Let's see, I, I've, I do know a lot of movies. Let me access my... <clears throat> Hot Fuzz Wings. This is a movie you actually know, Link, and, and it might be one of your favorite movies and or you just talk about it at a frequent... Lord of the Wings. Yes! Yes! Yes, that's it! Hey! <laughs> 
I Lord do like the, the, the one that the writers came up with, that wing you do. Uh, that's good. Somebody should take that. Somebody Such should take a good that. movie. In Nashville, Tennessee, there is a yellow VW bus hot dog stand with a name resembling a 1960s sitcom. 1960s, uh, I Dream of Weenie. Oh wow. my <laughs> God. That is good, man. Woo! James. I told you we were going to get every one of these. Immediately. <laughs> I Dream of Weenie. I do like the alt, which was a. Uh, listen, just the first. I, I'm not, I don't, I've never heard of this place. I'm the, I, I said 60s. I saw her doing her nose wiggle. I was like, I Dream of Jeannie and Dream Weenie. It just happens. That's crazy. I do like the alt, which was a uh, leave it to Weener. <laughs> <laughs> That's also really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chase makes a good point. The nose wiggles bewitched. It wasn't the genie. See? It didn't even matter. I didn't even have the reference That's right. right. That's crazy. I, are I you sure to... these aren't somewhere that you're like doing did you, your whole trip? Did you watch those? Yeah. I, I watched them too, like uh, every afternoon. Every I didn't. Afternoon. I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, Committed and I dream of genie about any uh, with anything. I didn't like keep up and be like, I got to be there. It's just like, oh, that, that, that show's on. I'm gonna watch it. I was committed to the Brady Bunch. I love the Brady Bunch. Never got into the Brady Bunch, but oh. um, I, I liked Bewitched and I liked I Dream of Genie. Both of those. One North American chain restaurant serves salads in the core of hollowed out baguettes, and they have a name that sounds like a famous band from the 60s and 70s. Okay. Hollowed out baguettes. baguettes. With salad. That sounds horrible, by the way. Salad inside of a baguette. Heart. Like, uh, I think you like the heart. Well, bread was a band from the 60s. Well, heart was a band. Um, 60s and 70s. Well, no, bread, bread was more 70s. But but I'm trying to think, what is the, what would they call a b salad in a baguette? Like stuffed. That's full. Like Full of, oh, oh, okay. Earth, wind, and fire. Think earth, wind, and fire and replace it with things. Baguette, salad, and dressing. <laughs> I'm not on the right track, am I? Dang it. You haven't landed on the right band yet. But is, isn't Sick, okay, it? But I, I don't know what, but is it key to know what the, this dish is well, called? Hold on. Because I don't know what that Here, is. You're, it, let's start with what you're good at. You know bands from the 60s and 70s. But there's a lot okay. of those. But, okay, a band that was really popular in the 60s and 70s, so much so popular that you would name a restaurant after it that's no longer around, right? They're not uh, still playing. They're the 60s and 70s. Mm, Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Okay. Red Zeppelin. Yes! See, I told you, you gotta, you gotta go, you gotta take it that way, man. You got it. Hey, that's pretty good. The, so, uh, again, oh, I, a Zeppelin. It's a baguette. Oh, a Zeppelin. A blimp, blimpy. Yeah. Like a blimpy. The Grateful Bread was the writer's pitch. Uh, which bread is also Zeppelin. Good. The Grateful Bread's still around. So I didn't even know that I was getting it, and we got it. First guess again. You got to start, you got to go with the thing that's easy to get to, and then you yeah. got and then you got to take the hard way. Okay. In Port Angeles, Washington, there's a salad and sandwich restaurant with menu items like the B-L-A-S-T, a pita sandwich with bacon, lettuce, avocado, sprouts, and a tomato creamy sriracha. What is the restaurant called? Blast from the past? Uh, this one's a little broader, I suppose. Acronames? Acronyms? It's broader? In Washington. Um, let me give you something else. Salad it's, and sandwich menu items like it's a the the name of the restaurant is like music based, music based and uh, vegetables. Music based and vegetables. So like rhythm and Brussels or um, yeah, you're playing in the right area. Uh, Rock and roll. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, okay. I mean, because you, you got walk, walk and, and roll. roll. That's not gonna happen with a sandwich shop. Rock and roll. No, it's good, but no. Uh, Think root vegetables. Carrot, potato. Root vegetables. Uh, beet. beet. The beet goes on. It's something with beet. Rock the beet. Beet. There's another root vegetable involved. Uh, beat the carrot. Okay, I was, gonna say, I was gonna say beat, beat our meat, but beat, you beat, didn't say beat meat. the tater. 
Another root vegetable. Well, I mean, root vegetables. Let's think about root vegetables. You got... Beat down. You've got uh, potatoes, carrots. It, there's another root, root vegetable? Rutabaga? No, but root. I wouldn't say... Yes, this is a root vegetable that you don't... You probably don't eat often. But Rhubarb? it is maybe a southern thing. So it's like beet and... Yams. It's blank the beet. We got the beet. What do you do to the beet? Follow the beet. Keep the beet. Uh, dance to the you beet. Eat, you eat the beet. You eat the beet. Uh, if you were to increase the volume to the beet. Increase the beet. Tur oh, turn up the beet. Yeah. Uh, okay. All turn right. up. We got the beat. we got too many That's, hints on that, that one. All right, but that doesn't count. Yeah, that one's lame though. Because what, what you do you want to eat anywhere that has turnip in the name? No. Do you want to watch a, a podcast Maybe or listen to a podcast with biscuits English. in the name? Yes, I do. Check out our podcast, Ear Biscuits. Two lifelong friends talk about life for a long time, about an hour, <laughs> and yet I, we never know what we're going to say to each other. Yeah. Sometimes, wow! It's, we're surprised. We surprise ourselves. It's not scripted. No. Uh, why? Why would it be? Actually, you know, we what? have a lifetime of shared experience. Ear biscuits is actually a scripted podcast that's made to seem like it's just two guys talking. Right. We'll tell you that. Yeah. Don't tell anybody else. It's, that. it's all written ahead of time. In Saratoga, New York, there was a grilled cheese truck that is unfortunately no longer in operation, but it did have a very fun name. What was it? No, there's no hints in this. Uh, grilled cheese. It's a it's a cheese pun. Uh, cheddar, che 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 Jesus. <laughs> grilled cheese. Grilled cheeses. That's good, but it's not it. Uh, grilled cheese truck. Uh, There's one of those here, and it's just called what? The grilled cheese truck. The grilled cheese truck. It's really good. I think that, well, that's what we call it. I don't know. Um, man, okay, so is it a, is it, is it, is a, it a is specific type of cheese? Type of cheese? Mm, no, it's oh. just the word cheese that is okay. involved. Say in cheese, time. truck. It did have a very, this is a very cheesy, fun name. Cheesy. Cheesy wheels. Um, cheesy greasy. It's just a fun, it's, it's take the berry out. <laughs> it's just fun, it's just a little fun. Cheese Louise. Uh, you want the two options? Che no. I want a, just a little che bit of a hint. Chief cheese. Cheese. Um, there's cheeky not much cheese. Of a hint I can give you. It's a pun that involves the word cheese. Sweet cheese. Sweet cheeks cheese. Does it involve the, the word grilled cheese? No. Cheese. Uh, cheese. Cheese? I'm trying to think of other things that cheese is selling. Give, give us the options. Cheese. Okay, whatever. Give us the options, I guess I give up. Is it A. Cheese the day or uh, cheesy does it? Cheesy does it. Uh, I, I mean, they're both pretty good. Cheesy does it is better. Okay, cheesy does it. Yes, cheesy does it. Okay. In Atlanta. There is a health food cafe with the slogan, healthy habits start here. So it's a, hey, that, that's all I got for, for a hint. It's a health food cafe. So we're back in, um, you know, veggie territory. Health, yeah. <laughs> um, what the health? Help me. Help Ron yourself. Ronda. <laughs> Health, health, me, Ronda. <laughs> I'm still in. I'm still in like music territory. Does healthy habits start here have anything to do with it? <clears throat> mm -mm. Does health have anything to do with it? Yeah, I, it's a it's a vegetable. I don't like these places. <laughs> you want to the two options? Kale, kale, oh. me, kale, me, maybe. Oh. oh, you are so close. I'm still sir. doing music puns. You are so close. Kale me later. 
Kill me for a good time. Think more. That's good. Like present day uh, music, I would say. Oh, so present it is music. Day? Uh, like, is it kale being used in the term in, in kill? Like kill? Kale me blank. Oh, wait. Kill me, baby? <laughs> no, my. Kill me, baby? I was thinking of another song, but it's kale me blank. Kale me. What is what is kale me? I don't oh. even know what. Kale me softly. Close. Kale me hard. <laughs> Kaling it's me not, softly. I was thinking of. A song that has nothing to do with this. It's just a phrase. Kill me. It's kill me crazy. Oh, kill me crazy for. I was me thinking, crazy. kill me maybe. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, so was I. Yeah, I thought I said that. Kill me crazy. Oh, kill me crazy. That's pretty. The good. Uh, alt name was. We got Yas it. Green. <laughs> <laughs> that's good too. You can be done. That's a good one. That's it. We're done. I mean, I have another one, but. No, I want, want to get. I want to end on one that we get without help. Okay. And if we don't, you can just repeat a question from earlier that we did get without. Okay. Help. If you don't, you can just kill us. <laughs> In Alexandria, Virginia, there's a frozen custard shop with flavors like almond joy, after dinner mint, and pineapple upside down cake. And what is it called? It's a frozen custard shop. Frozen Fro custard. Yep. Does custard have anything to do with it? Fro froyo, to an extent. Fro, cuss. Fro. The word custard is not used. No. General custard. <laughs> <laughs> fro is froyo is in it. Well, that's frozen yogurt. It is a movie oh. pun. Movie frozen. A, a fruit. A fruit. A frozen good men. Uh, I want to build a snowman <laughs> in your mouth. <laughs> That's the slogan, not the, not the restaurant name. I want to build a, a snowman. Movie, a movie title pun. Uh, uh, ice. Ice, ice. Why don't we land on the... Crazy. What else is a descriptor or base or ingredient of custard? Cream. Close. Ice. Sugar. No, what is Milk. the broad, yeah, what is the broad category that cream Dairy. Dairy. Okay, yeah, dairy. Okay, dairy. Dairy. Truth or dairy? Dare. Truth or dairy? That has to be it. Dare. It's not. It's not good, I will say. I feel sad that we're ending on this, but I feel happy with the one that the writers made up instead. Dairy, Indiana. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see what they it's are. The Dairy Godmother is what it's called. Okay. Oh, well, you could have let us guess which one. Okay, sorry. We could have gone out on a but, win. Well, Dairy I Godmother. I said the one that the, um, well, what's the, other one? the writers came up with was really good. There's something about dairy. That's, That's clearly good. really oh, good. Oh, yeah, I'd eat there. I, it doesn't say custard shop to me, though, writers. Keep working on it. <laughs> what, you think it's a milk store? <laughs> it's too broad. It's just like a milk campaign. Mm, but if you saw it, if it was like in a little strip mall with a little ice cream cone next to it, you'd get on it. You're not going to convince me. Okay, well, I'll open it up myself. <laughs> We can see into the future, and we predict you're gonna want the Outlook Mythical Tea. Available now at mythical.com.